Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, I want to share with you a really cool technique that you can use to make a digital sticker mock-up. So if you're looking to give people an idea of maybe you're designing a sticker and you want people to see what that might look like, or if you want to spruce up your portfolio and just show some design elements, this is a great tip that I think might be useful. So what I have here is uh, a robot that I have inked and colored. And you can see that I have multiple layers underneath the ink layer that contain various aspects of the uh, colors for this robot. At the very lowest layer, I've got something called the base color. And this color layer, if I were to command click it, you can see that it basically selects the entire robot. That's gonna be important in order for us to pull this off. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to make a new layer at the very bottom. And we are going to go up to select. We're gonna choose modify, expand. And we're going to type in the number 20. So if you look at this, I'm using 20 pixels. I'll click okay. And what that does is it expands my selection by 20 pixels. And now what I can do is I can fill that in with white. So I can go to my uh, color panel and I can hit option, delete. So if I do that, what that does is it goes ahead and fills that in with a white color. You may not be able to see that. If I turn off the background layer and zoom in, you can see that I have this white trim. Now to really make this effect look good, I wanna make that white area a little bit easier to see. So I'm gonna to go to FX and I'm gonna choose Drop Shadow. And when I have Drop Shadow selected, these are some of the parameters that I'm using. So I've got Opacity set to 35, I've got Distance set to 22, Spread set to 25, and Size set to 24. And you can see that when you adjust things like the size, like you don't want the size to be too big, you want the shadow to be somewhat crisp. So I can lower this down somewhat. I can also change the distance and I can also, you know, mess around with the other parameters here. So bottom line, these are what I'm using, but you can always adjust your values to taste. So I'll click OK and that creates a drop shadow. In order to really finish this effect off, I'm going to make another new layer underneath everything. And in this particular case, I want some kind of a wooden texture and I'm just, I've got a collection of wooden textures that I found from the internet. I'll hit enter here. And you can see that that drop shadow really does make it seem like the sticker is resting on that wood panel. And what's really neat is if I just move this in um, and kind of put um, that white uh, background in the group folder, if I just call this robot, I can make a copy of that by just hitting Command J that makes a copy of my robot. And then I can just offset it, move it off to the side. I can make another copy and I can offset that. So it just looks like there's a bunch of stickers. I can even rotate it. So this might be a really neat way of showing off your design work. And what's also really cool about this is a bonus tip. Um, if I look at the topmost layer here, uh, if I wanted to just change the color of that top robot, just go back to my base color, hit Command U, and just play with the hue. And now it looks like I've got like a sticker variety pack. I can go back in and just change the colors ever so uh, subtly to make it seem like I've got multiple variants of this robot. So. Pretty cool effect. Uh, I love using this effect when I'm uh, thinking about layout ideas for my portfolio. You can also use it if you're just making stickers and you wanna show people what your stickers may look like. So I hope you found this tip to be useful. If you do, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know if you enjoy videos like this. It's a little bit off the beaten path for me, but I think it's kind of fun and I would love to see what you do with it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.